Hey guys and welcome to Mechanic Gunsmith Task Guide the Gunsmith Part 8. For this task we need to modify a AKS-74N. Now double check that you are actually getting the correct version and don't get confused. So for this build it needs to have 60 or greater durability. So if you happen to get this from a scav or from the flea market just make sure that it is repaired up to over 60 durability. It needs to have 65 or greater ergonomics. It needs to have 250 or less recoil. The gun should be taken up no more than 10 slots. So because it'll be a 2x2, two two, it can't be any bigger than 5 in the length. It needs to have a B30 handguard, a B31S upper handguard rail, an AK0 tactical foregrip, an AK12 magazine, a Clash 2 IKS flashlight, a DTK1 muzzle brake, a RK3 pistol grip, an AKS 74, AKS 74 U Zenit PT lock with the PT3 Clash to stock, as well as a Zenit B33 dust cover. It doesn't list those last four items, but they are also required as this is a Zenit build. And now for the full parts list. You're going to need a Zenit B30 handguard, an AK-12 31 magazine, an AKS-74U Zenit PT lock, an AK Zenit DTK1, a Zenit Kalesh 2 IKS IR illuminator with laser, a Zenit PT3 clash to stock, a Zenit B33 dust cover, a Zenit RK0, as well as a Zenit RK3 pistol crib. And now where to get the parts. So what we're going to do is head over to Prepper, and go to tier 2. This is where we're going to grab ourselves the AKS-74N. Now the thing is with this gun, it's kind of in between where it says the AK-74. You can't use this or the AK-74N. You can't use this for the task. And I know it says AKS, but it doesn't actually, you can't use this gun either. It has to be the AKS-74N. And now where to get the parts. So we're going to first of all head over to Mechanic and go to tier 2. And um, this is where you're going to do the barter trade for it. You see right here the B30 and the B31S. It, you can do a barter trade for 3 RAM. This is the better way. You can also buy it from Ski at tier 4. But I'd be surprised if anyone's going to be the level for that. Then what we're going to do is head over to Prepper and go to tier 3. This is where we're going to grab ourselves the AK-12 magazine. Now be very careful when you're actually looking at the mag. Because there is another version of it called Early Model which does not count so it basically says ak12 545 by 39 early model 30 round magazine now that we got that we're going to head over to skier and go to tier 2 once at tier 2 this is where we're going to grab these cells our cells the aks 74 then a pt lock don't get confused with the 74m make sure that it is the correct one we got that grab ourselves the dtk um, muzzle brake and then we've got two lights that basically look the same. You want to make sure that you get the one that's a 2K or sorry, 2IKS IR illuminator and not the one on the left. So make sure you grab this one. Now that we got that, we're going to pop over to tier three. We're going to want to grab ourselves the RK0 tactical foregrip. They all kind of look the same. Just hover over it and you'll be able to tell which one is what. Now that we got that, we're going to grab ourselves the Zenit PT3 buttstock as well as the B33 dust cover. Now when it comes to getting the RK3 pistol grip, you can obviously, well, if you completed the task missing cargo from Skia, you can buy it from here. But if we just head over to tier one with mechanic, if it's super expensive on the flea market, you can actually do a barter trade for a roller and a GP coin, and you can actually get the PT3 buttstock as well as the RK3 from this build if you're struggling. Now that we got all of these items, I'm going to show you how to build the gun. So what we're going to do is take the butt stock, 30 rounder, dust cover, pistol grip, muzzle brake, and then take off the hand guard. If you happen to take them off together, so you've taken off the gas tube and it's gone red and you can't put on the B30, just again double click on the hand guard that you took off, take off the hand guard from inside the gas tube, and here is the gas tube, put that on and then boom. So simple enough, let's put everything onto the gun now. And here is the full build. It says it needs to be 10 squares, whether it's folded or unfolded, it's still gonna be, well, 10 squares or less. And you can't actually fold it because you don't actually, or the recoil goes too high, basically. So here we go. You can see we got ourselves a green tick. So if we was to head over to Mr. Mechanic, 
go to task done swift part eight and then here you go i'm going to show you the inspection just for the final time before i hand it over there we go and it's all completed now that we completed that, check out the pinned comment in the description and in the comment section that will link you to part 9 where we're going to need to modify a P226R pistol. Hopefully you guys found that guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe. Also, if you're looking for someone to play with or you need help with a task, we do have a helpline, which is like the Sherpa system over at toc.gg, which is the outcast. We also run some tournaments and all that kind of fun stuff. So don't forget to head over there as well. An absolute huge thank you to everyone giving me feedback in the channel, liking and commenting. It helps a huge amount when it comes to this channel. And also thank you to all of my channel supporters over on Twitch, YouTube and Patreon. You guys are absolutely awesome. And especially a big thank you to the Riven King for your continued support.